In this video, I'm going to be talking about scoring a movie. Let's start by talking about what film score is. Film score is the music that accompanies the movie. Its purpose is to heighten the emotion of every scene along with the help of other sound elements such as dialogue and sound effects. The overall film score is created by the composer. In movies, oftentimes the film score is credited to one single composer, such as Hans Zimmer. However, in reality, there's more pieces to the puzzle. These are six different collaborators to the composer that help bring this music to life. Number one, the orchestrator. The orchestrator's job is to take the entire composition and break it down and distribute it to different instruments. For example, which part goes to the brass sections and which part goes to the percussion. Number two is the music editor. The music editor's job is to make the composer's vision a reality. Not by playing instruments, uh, dealing with the computers and processing all the sounds. Number three, the music supervisor. The music supervisor's job is to get music that's not a part of the original score to be a part of the film. Huh? Don't get what I'm saying? You ever been watching a movie and you hear your favorite song playing? Yeah! That's exactly it. Number four is the producer. A producer is someone who directs and oversees the entire recording session. Some composers tend to be their own producers. However, a lot of the times composers can't handle the stress of dealing with large crowds, nor do they have the leadership abilities to direct a large crowd, so for that reason they hire external producers. Number five is the copyist. A copyist's job is to take the overall composition and break it down into parts for each individual instrumentalist. This job is almost like the orchestrator but a little more specific. Instead of giving something to a whole brass section, they give this to a trumpet player or a trombone player. Number six, performers. The performers are generally the composers as well who play out their entire score the way they wrote it. But if the budget allows it, sometimes they'll hire other instrumentalists to come in and play certain parts of the score. And before we wrap this up, I'm gonna give you four tips to writing a film score. Tip number one, write a simple melody. As a composer, your job is to write an original yet familiar theme that helps push the story forward. It should be something that's catchy yet simple. Tip number two, compose narratively. You need to create a score that will coexist with the narrative that the director is trying to tell. Tip number three, think of your sound palette. Your sound palette is your unique collection of sounds and instruments that you use to create your score. Music and image go hand in hand, so you gotta make sure you study the lighting, the coloring, and the editing to ensure that your music helps with the world building. Tip number four, don't overdo it. A lot of times when creating compositions, people tend to overthink. They think there has to be music from beginning to end, and it has to be very complex. It doesn't. Keep it simple, keep it memorable. And remember, less is more. If you're interested in learning more about film scoring or any other aspects of filmmaking, visit filmcampforkids.com where we offer one hour classes and we go more in depth. 